That's what I'm talking about. Wait. Okay, now, from the beginning. Hello and welcome to another episode of Wolf Ridge Woodworking. So happy that you could join me today. I know it's been a minute, but I'm very happy to be here, get a little project done for you. I, before I get started though, I do wanna mention that I did get a couple of uh, stickers that are on the board here, um, but I recorded a video, didn't like it, so it never got posted. But uh, I got a sticker from Hugh over in the UK who's got a YouTube channel. I'll put all of his uh, information down below. And then I've got uh, a card and a sticker from James over at Blue Line Turnings. And I will put his social media information there. Thank you guys. Uh, if I haven't got you a sticker, I will get you one in the mail. So for today's project, I've got a, a piece of uh, walnut and a piece of uh, thin maple uh, glued to the top of it. It's about five and a half, half inches round, about three and a half inches deep. I uh, figured I'd throw it on the lathe on, lathe on the worm screw and let's see what we can make out of it. So I'm not happy with the shape. So I think I'm gonna take uh, this off and kind of round it. Uh, I do have a few cracks here on the end grain and uh, didn't get a very good uh, connection here with the glue. So I'll fix that afterwards. Uh, I'm gonna reshape it and then uh, use a scraper to uh, get it a little bit better. Put some sanding sealer on it, and then I'll address the cracks. Sanding sealer is so that it, the, the CA glue doesn't stain uh, the wood. So recently Starbond sent me um, some products to try out. Um, they also sent me a, a coupon code for you guys. It's WOLF10 um, and I'll put all the links uh, down below. So I wanna give this, uh, this medium, um, probably thin would be better, but I don't have the thin. So I'm just going to apply a bead here. And then I've got some sawdust down here I'm just going to apply that and that gap disappears. Okay, we got another one right here. So again, just going to apply a thin bead, as thin as I can. And again, grab some of this dust. And work it down in there. And again, you just watch it disappear. And I'm hoping with the sanding sealer there that that is going to take care of the any staining that I might have. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing uh, to these cracks and I'll just speed the footage up so you don't have to sit here and watch the whole thing. So 
So now I'm just gonna let that dry and then we'll get to sanding it. All right, so we've got it shaped the way that I like it. Um, pretty good inside. Um, got those cracks in there, so I'll probably wind up, uh, I think I'm gonna sand it first, see what we can do, and then uh, deal with the cracks. You can, yeah, you can see them right there. So uh, we're gonna handle those cracks, or the, the sanding first, go from 80 up to uh, 600, and then we'll come back, well, we'll probably maybe go 80 to uh, say uh, 120, deal with the cracks, maybe put some um, sanding sealer on it again so it doesn't stain, then it will go from there. Well, that's going to wrap up today's project. It was good to be back on the lathe. It's been a crazy uh, few weeks. Uh, haven't really been able to get out in the shop, uh, except for building that uh, shop furniture. But I haven't been able to get out and make a, a video. So it's really good to get out and, and make a project. And I got to say, I'm really happy with the way this came out. Uh, there was some, you know, the cracks in here. You'll see those in the pictures of here in just a few minutes. But anyway, it uh, it turned out really well. The, the cracks got filled in very well with that sawdust 
sawdust and then you got the Starbond uh, CA glue. Uh, so I'm very happy with that. Again, there will be a, uh, a link down below where you can pick that up or you can use the Wolf 10 coupon code uh, down below to get 10% off. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope that you'll check back next time when I bring you another project. Again, gonna do some kind of different things this year. So stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed. But if this is your first time here or you've been here before and you want to see other videos like that, click over here. If you're not a subscriber and you'd like to become a subscriber, click up here, click that bell so that you're notified when I upload a new video. And as always, I wish you and your family a blessed day. Thank you.